If you told me a game where you play as a turnip would have me bawling and thinking deeply about my life choices, I would have asked you if Hades was now a turnip-based game. But no, I'm talking about Minabo, a walk through life, a game I had never heard of until their email dropped in our inbox. In this social simulation, the world never moves backwards. From your first crawl to your last gasp, you can either stand still or move forward, sprout from the dirt before your parents, and begin the game-long task of balancing your needs for affection, physical comfort, and a sense of belonging. The three major meters you'll need to keep track of during your turnip's life. Depending on how well you care for your turnip's needs, the relationships you build or don't with turnips you meet along the way, and choices you make with items you find, your epitaph upon death changes. The gameplay consists of meeting other turnips, young and old, and attempting to build social relationships. You can become acquaintances, best friends, partners, or, if you're feeling spicy, enemies. But whether these relationships turn out the way you hope depends on your probability of passing a check, which is indicated by a meter over each turnip's head. I found that when a turnip is feeling especially down and their meters are dangerously low in one or more needs, they're more open and probable to accept your comfort in whatever way you're offering it. However, they can also rebuff you and cause a drain to both of your meters, which can even happen with your parents as a baby. Ouch. If you or other turnips let your meters get too low, you'll find your lifespan, which is also indicated on screen, to decrease and eventually lead to an early death. In essence, self-care is a matter of life or death in this game, but also we could argue that in real life, as the game is definitely trying to point out to its players. Do a good job of taking care of your needs, which usually involves having plenty of social relationships, and you'll find your turnip living to the ripe old age of 100. And if you're not really a turnip-loving kind of turnip, you'll also get to meet, befriend, and love turnip pets in the form of cats and dogs. All of these elements are introduced to you through quests, which each quest typically having two to five requirements in order to pass it and move on to the next one. There are 25 quests total, and they range from befriending three turnips and having a partner, to befriending no turnips and having several pets. The best quest, of course. After completing five quests, you'll unlock Free Mode, which is a randomly generated run where you call the shots. You can also use Free Mode to unlock hats, which are special items you can collect from random turnips in quests or Free Mode. To get these hats, you must win the most challenging game of all, Rock, Paper, Scissors. And you'd want these hats because they come with special bonuses like increasing your chance to pass an affection attempt, or allowing you to romance siblings. Yes, that's a real thing in this game. I can only hope it exists to help pass a very hard quest. Otherwise, I have a lot of questions. And all of this deeply symbolic gameplay was crafted through the assistance of real-world psychologists. Which again makes me wonder, who gave the green light to the incest crown? Why? Some final bits and baubles I want to mention are that this game has full controller support and plays fairly comfortably on it. There were points that it was difficult to interact with a turnip I wanted to because of how many were on the screen, as well as the imprecision of the controls at times. But I have a feeling this was on purpose. For the options menu, it's pretty limited, you can just change the quality of the graphics to low or high, and adjust the music. Speaking of music, while the original and only tune is fine for a while, because again, it's the only song, I couldn't help but get tired of it and turn the volume down, and then later just turn it completely off. The music feels quite grandiose, but that wears off after several runs. As for the graphics, I love me some hand-drawn cutesy art, and the soft colors were a great match for this aesthetic. To close off this review, I have to admit I had a deeply emotional experience with Minabo that I know I'll be thinking about for a while. 
even knowing full well the conceit of this game and the life lessons it was trying to impart, my heart ached as I watched my turnip parents grow older and weaker and eventually die. I couldn't stop myself from crying as I continued to hug. Ugh, God. I'm emotional even talking about it. Hug, talk to, and connect with my aging parents. As I wrote it, and as you can hear me now speaking it, I can't help but get a little choked up. I was so desperate to show my fictional turnip parents, as stupid as that sounds, that I love them because I knew their time was coming to a close. I have recorded this like 15 times, so I apologize. I know I sound emotional, but I can't get it. I, I am emotional. I am emotions. And this will be a great conversation with my therapist, but I'm pretty sure that my reaction is coming from both my values from how I grew up and my own deep-seated fears about aging and what will happen to me during that time. And also, I'm almost 30 and my parents are in their 70s, so the situation is becoming quite real. So whether what deeply affects you is watching your parents in game age and die, or watching your best friends, your partners in game pass away, something will undoubtedly connect with you as it did with me. Minabo, a walk through life, may seem obvious in its messaging, but the experience of playing it is unlike any other simulation game I've played. I won't be forgetting about this game for a long time. Thank you so much for supporting clickbait free independent content here on YouTube. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to help us bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming and be sure to check out patreon.com slash I dream of indie games where we can together defeat the gaming echo chamber.